Mosquitoes buzzing around your ears can be annoying and their bites can be itchy. But mosquitoes are also important because they can carry different diseases. And when an infected mosquito bites a human, it can inject the virus or parasite into the human. Knowing where mosquitoes live will allow you to take extra precautions when you're in those areas and help keep you from being bitten. All mosquitoes require water for their larvae, or immature stage of mosquitoes, to develop into adults. Different species of mosquitoes use different types of water habitats. Generally, mosquito habitats are divided into two categories, permanent water and flood water. Permanent water sources are present for long periods of time and can support the growth of different types of plants. Flood water sources alternate between periods of dry and wet, such as when water overflows as a result of a flood or melting snow. Roadside ditches can collect water from rainfall or snow melt to provide a breeding site for mosquitoes. Potholes in your driveway, sidewalks, or along the road where water can puddle can also create attractive places for some mosquitoes to lay their eggs. Ideally, these temporary water sites need to be there for longer than two weeks to allow enough time for an egg to hatch and turn into an adult mosquito. There may be more aquatic breeding sites for mosquitoes around your yard than you might realize. Man-made containers that can collect rain around your yard might include bird baths, wheelbarrows, pails, and buckets. Children's toys like wagons, tire swings, and kiddie pools can collect water from rain or can attract mosquitoes if they are not drained or turned over after use. In fact, the used tire is the most common site for mosquito breeding in the United States. Swimming pools, hot tubs, and ornamental pools can become stagnant if not maintained or treated, attracting mosquitoes as well. Don't forget to also inspect your door and window screens for any holes that can let mosquitoes enter your home. If containers must be there, like flower pots, bird baths, or pet bowls, empty the water out of them at least twice each week so that mosquito larvae won't have time to complete their life cycle. Chlorinate swimming pools and hot tubs, or make sure they are empty and covered, but don't allow the covers to collect standing water. Aerate ornamental pools or stock them with native fish so they do not become stagnant. Conduct regular maintenance to fix leaky faucets and make sure gutters are clear of leaves and other debris so they can drain properly. Remember to look around your home and do what you can to minimize the spots where mosquitoes like to lay their eggs. Enjoy the main outdoors and take extra precautions when you are in a mosquito habitat.